Hey, what's up everybody? This is Elder Fitz and welcome to the LFCC Minister's Corner. We are continuing our discussion on pneumatology, the biblical study of the Holy Spirit. In this video, we'll discuss the deity of the Holy Spirit. In the previous video, we looked at the personhood of the Holy Spirit. You know, through our study, we acknowledge Holy Spirit as He and not it. Well, that same Bible reveals that He is divine as well. And here's a quote from J.B. Phillips to get us started. Every time we say, I believe in the Holy Spirit, we mean that we believe that there is a living God able and willing to enter human personality and change it. The divinity of the Holy Spirit is seen in godly attributes such as eternal, omnipresence, omniscience, and omnipotence. These godlike attributes are clearly attributed to the Holy Spirit in the Bible. So let's take a look at the deity of the Holy Spirit in Scripture. He is eternal meaning there's never been a time where the Holy Spirit did not exist. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 14. How much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God? He is omnipotent. We're all powerful. Luke chapter 1, verse 35. And the angel answered her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. He is omnipresent, meaning where the Spirit is, there is God. Psalms 139, verse 7 and 8. Where shall I go from your spirit or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. He is omniscient or all-knowing. 1 Corinthians verse 2, verse, uh, verses 10 and 11. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. For who knows a person's thoughts except the Spirit of that person, which is in him? So also, no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. And finally, Holy Spirit is called God in Acts chapter 5, verse 3 and 4. We read this last time under the personhood. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and keep back what? Keep back for yourselves part of the proceeds of the land. While it remained unsold, did it not remain your own? And after it was sold, was it not at your disposal? Why is it that you have contrived this deed in your heart? You have not lied to man, but to God. Now that's pretty clear. So the Bible clearly ascribes deity to Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is a person and the Spirit is God. He is divine. Well, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video to be a blessing, I really appreciate you hitting that like button. And if you come across this channel for the first time, if you'd like to subscribe, hit that subscribe button as well. And if you want to be notified every time new content is uploaded, then hit the notifications bell as well. This is Elder Fitz. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video.